Hello all, welcome to oratennis.com. In this session, we'll discuss about conditional logic using choose and if in BI Publisher. Let's start with the choose. So what we can do use using choose? Using choose, we can have a validate multiple conditions. Okay, and here if you observe the syntax, so in the choose, the keyword starts with the choose, and there's a starting tag of choose, and this ending tag of choose. And in, the, in, in between, inside the choose, we can have a when condition, like a, when a particular condition is validated, what you want to do. You can mention multiple when conditions. And finally, if none of the when, if you like, let us say you want to have a default condition, you can have it otherwise. So here, if you observe the sample, so like in this one, if data found condition, let us say, you know, if you want to consider like a, when data is there, you want to do something. When data is not there, you want to do something. So here you can write logic like this, choose, choose. When count of here, what is G1? It's G1 is one of the sample group. And the, if the number of records, in the G1 are greater than zero, nothing but not equal to zero, nothing but most probably it is greater than zero. And when, and this is a if condition is satisfied. And after that, let us say, if you don't want to have it, like if you want to have a else logic, okay? Otherwise condition, you can mention otherwise, that's that you can, this is the otherwise starting and this is a, uh, like otherwise end. And similarly, like here, end when. And finally, you need to close this particular choose condition, you have to mention end choose, okay? So most in most of the cases, the like a, let us say start, if the starting tag is choose and the ending tags will be generally end choose. Similarly for, it will have a end for kind of thing. So this is syntax and a sample for the choose. And similarly, we'll see the if condition also, then we'll see the, later we'll see the sample. Coming to the if condition, it, most like a, considering if you compare choose and if mostly both are same but the problem with the if condition or in like a, the functionality of the if condition is you can have only one condition first of all so here if you observe if condition and if that's it if here if you consider the sample if colon followed by the condition nothing but a pair like a variable name success is equal to n if the success is equal to n you want to print a not else don't print anything and then after that you just print something so similarly, like uh, just having a if condition may not satisfy our requirements, right? If at all, if you want to have a if and, if and else kind of logic, you have to use XDO logic. And here, if you observe the syntax, XDO FX, the logic here is you have to use XDO FX colon if condition followed by then the result else you have to mention the result then end if. So this is a logic for the end if, okay? We'll see these total three samples like uh, choosing choose and using if condition and also using if else condition, okay? So let's go to the sample first of all. Before going to the sample, let me show you the data model so that you'll get a clarity. So the data model which I'm using is from the cloud ERP. You can choose any data model, okay? It just had four columns, party ID, party number, party name, as well as account number, okay? Now, the input parameter for this data model is party type. If party type is equal to person, I mean, based on the party type, I'm getting a record. So let us say I'll just pass some party type like a organization, I may get a different data. Let me try that. Okay, let us say I'll pass some junk party type. Let us say party type is one, two, three. Okay, I'll not get any data. Just observe the XML also. So whenever if you don't get the data, whenever you don't get any data from the like a BI data model, you'll not have any parent tag also. Here, if you observe this query, the parent, the parent group for this particular data model is G underscore one. And if you're not getting any data from your data model, so you'll have, you will not even have empty tag. You will not have any record for that group. Okay. Now let us say if this is an input to your particular RTF template, you want to print no data found kind of logic. So what is the way we can achieve? There are multiple ways we can achieve. Let's start with one first way, like maybe let me show you that. So let me choose this one. Oracle, yeah, this one, using choose. Okay, now this is my party report, okay. Everything is same, everything is a normal table using a wizard logic till this part. So only thing what I have added is these three conditions. If data exists, otherwise, end if data, okay. So just see the logic for if data exists. What I'm doing is if data exists, here just click on BI Publisher and field browser. If data exists, what I've done, choose, Okay, that's a syntax for choose, then followed by when condition, when count of G underscore one not equal to zero. So whenever I get data, you just print this table region. Let us say if I'm not getting data, what I want to do, just check the otherwise condition. In otherwise, what I've done, so in otherwise, in the, in the otherwise we don't require any condition as such, okay? So this is where I'm ending the end when, like because the 
the when condition was starting from the if data condition okay and after that the otherwise is getting started and then where is otherwise ending otherwise is ending here in the end if data condition i'm ending the otherwise condition as well as end choose condition also so this no record will no records exist will get printed only when there is no data okay let me try both samples so i'll just load this data now okay so now here first of all i'll let <clears throat> i'll load the data which is having data so part adm and just click on this one try to check the pdf report so i just need to print i mean it has to print like a probably like a five records and the no data is not getting printed right because we are all, we are having the data let me try the other one like a where i don't have any data just see the no data xml so i don't have any data okay so only thing is i just have this particular one like a data ds data ds will get printed every time and part p part it i mean the variable will variable will get printed every time right and the data will get printed only if you have the valid data okay now let's start okay so let me try this one so give the input of no data one here and now the expectation is that it has to print no record exist okay okay so this is how it will get printed so if at all if you want to try no record exist or any condition you can just try with this particular choose condition now let me show you the sample for if condition so it's almost similar one let me show you that first of all so in this what i have done is so here i have written if and end if if and end if because using if condition you you don't you, you don't have an option called else if as such okay so now in some requirements what may happen is they don't want even they don't even want to show the table region right if you don't want to show like let us say if you have a group and if it is not having data then then you know like if at all if you have a data in the group it will just print this one else it will not print but in some requirements you, they don't want to show the table region also in such cases you require if condition for the table region also okay so now if you just see the syntax for if data exists field browser if count of g same thing similar one if count of g underscore one not equal to zero and then you have an end if here and similarly what for no data font what i have to do if count of g g underscore one is equal to zero okay then no record exists so let me try this i'll start with the having a data first of all this is for having data okay having data now let me try with the no data also you can choose either choose condition or if condition both will work perfectly okay this is for no record access now similarly i have sim let us say in like as of now we have just used if condition for the no record access purpose but within the cell within the record level also you can do it now here if you observe the, one of the example here what i have done is if party id is equal to or let us say if party id is less than this number i want to print it as good else don't print anything right so let me try that having a data check the condition okay this good should be printed for only one record right it printed sorry like uh, we have used greater than right or less than we have used less than so all the these particular four records were less than this value so it it printed good here and similarly here if you observe for the party number like uh, for four records it printed at the rate and for the fifth record it printed star okay but how it was done using if else logic just see the syntax here if else we have used xdy fx here so xdy fx if party number is equal to so and so then print star else print at the rate okay of course you can use this i mean instead of writing all this particular logic here you can write you can write the you know like information at the data model level there are many places it all depends upon where you want to write it all depends upon the logic which you want to achieve okay so this is how we can try to work with the choose condition as well as if condition capability okay thank you